A man accused of murdering a Roman Catholic priest in Waveland, Mississippi, reportedly committed suicide in his jail cell. Jeremy Manieri was found dead in his cell this morning with a sheet wrapped around his neck. Manieri was accused of killing Father Ed Everett of Louisiana. The priest's body was found behind a beach house in Waveland. Manieri was a handyman at the house that was used by priests as a retreat. Investigators believe robbery was the motive. They say Manieri planned to take his ex-wife and his children to Disney World. He was captured in Polk County, Florida with the priest's car and the priest's gun. A home invasion in Fort Walton Beach leaves a man dead. Now neighbors and police are trying to figure out what happened. Fox News reporter Corey Pippin talked to one of those neighbors who actually lived really close to the victim. Wind chimes ring in the air here in the small community off Alder Avenue in Fort Walton Beach. But early Thursday morning, a gunshot rang out. I'm, I'm just surprised by all of it, you know? Yeah. Because I, I, I never witnessed nothing like this. Ben Dawson has lived in his home for over two years, directly next to where police say a home invasion left 24-year-old William Bowen dead. Authorities say around 12.30 a.m., two men wearing hoods and dark clothing forced their way into this home with Bowen and three women inside. I was laying in bed, then I heard this loud bang, you know, and then after that I heard screaming, and after that I seen police everywhere. Police say that bang came after Bowen fought with the two men when he was shot in the chest. They say he also had wounds to his head. Authorities say they believe a total of three suspects were actually involved in the crime, one of which wearing light-colored clothes waited outside. After the shot, the suspects took off. Eventually, I looked outside, you know, came to my door. But there was police front, back, and, you know, I heard them say, like, you know, they was going to, you know, put people all the way around the block. But the suspects haven't been found. Dawson says he's still shocked something like this happened. It's, it's not that way around here. You know, that was just an isolated event, I think, you know. And it was just a tragedy, you know. In Fort Walton Beach, Corey Pippen, Fox 10 News. Bowen was taken to the Fort Walton Beach Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. The three unidentified women in the home at the time, well, they weren't hurt.